So today I'm finally going to be getting around to doing one of the most requested reviews probably in about the last year, especially over on the website, epicreviews.net. Go check it out if you haven't been over there. That's the address. So this is for the My Pillow. I'm sure you guys have seen this guy doing the infomercials for about maybe the last eight months to a year. They've been running like nonstop on the weekends and stuff. It's that sort of awkward guy who's kind of a little uncomfortable and not too sure of himself. But anyways, I guess he's a pillow genius or something and has invented this new type of pillow fill that's supposed to lock in place and create support and blah -de blah You've seen the infomercials probably. The main reason I haven't done one up to this point is because these dang pillows were like a hundred bucks when they first came out. And I really didn't feel comfortable even recommending a hundred dollar pillow to people even if it was great you know i mean i'm aware you can go to macy's or nordstrom's and you can get hundred dollar pillows but then you're talking about thousand thread count and silk and stuff where this you're actually just paying for the functionality of the pillows i actually found they now make a travel version of it it comes with a little carrying case and now the overall price of the my pillows come down significantly i think you can get them now for 59.95 um, I'll put a link underneath this website where you can get it for, like I said, under 60 bucks right now or like at least right around there. So they have come down quite a bit on price, but that's still fairly expensive just to try out a pillow if you're not sure if it's going to work for you or not. But they recently have released a travel version of it. So this was only $29.95. Now I've done the reviews for the Sobakawa pillow and the Side Sleeper Pro and the Total pillow. But those were like $20 pillows. You know, that's a whole different range than spending, like I said, $50, $60. Bucks. But this travel version is only $29.99. A little pricey for a travel pillow, but it gave me a chance to try it out. And it uses the same filler and everything, the antimicrobial... Um, hypoallergenic filler that he has basically the patent on so to give me a chance to see how it actually works how the support and things and if I like it enough then I'll go ahead and I'll buy the big full-size one so let's crack it out and then it's got your little handy carrying case here for trips and things and then it's sort of set and wrapped up now there is no pillowcase or anything with this so you're gonna have to get your own pillowcase but it's pretty nice it's got its own logo and everything all around it it's kind of flattened out from the trip, so I'm gonna fluff it up a little bit and we're gonna see how this feels. This is my first time cracking it out, and so I haven't had a chance to really use it a ton yet. So I'm gonna come back once I've used it a little bit. I've just kind of been patting it a little bit. Now you can see just how big and fluffy it is all of a sudden. Key to this is supposed to be that you can form fit this to however you like to sleep. If you wanna have a spot where you like to have your neck, you can pack it in under there and that the interlocking nature of the fill is going to keep it from moving and the pillow from flattening out. So that's the main thing I'm going to test out for it. It feels pretty nice. I actually am a little bit impressed. It's a nice pillow, nice material. It came in a nice package and wrapped up. It comes with all the stuff about the medical reasons why it's such a great pillow and things. But I would say it's a very nice travel pillow. Very comfortable. Um, you can tell it feels cool. It seems like it wouldn't heat up very much. All right, I think I'm gonna go take a nap. Hey guys, so I just got done taking a nap with this my pillow, and I had to do that for you guys so I could give you my honest opinion on how it worked. Sometimes you just gotta put in the hard work, man. <laughs> so I went ahead and did that nap, and I'm actually pretty impressed. This is actually a really comfortable pillow. I think this would actually make a really nice um, travel pillow. I took a nap here on the couch, and the arm of the couch here is kind of hard. It's like a hard, you know, piece of wood inside of there. And usually, no matter what pillow I use, if I take a nap on that arm, it always kind of hurts my jaw a little bit, you know, because it's so hard. And with this pillow, I really noticed when I woke up, I didn't feel any pressure or anything on the side of my face. So I can see what they mean about how much support this thing really has. Um, you can see how much fatter it is now from the beginning of the video, if you guys remember that from like three minutes ago. The key with it, I think, is whether you're somebody who likes a firmer pillow or somebody who really wants a soft, squishy pillow. Now, I'd heard that from some of the comments that people had made that if you have a ponytail or if you wear a bun or something in your hair that they actually would get a headache from this because it is so firm and you get so much support from it. Now, I wouldn't exactly call it firm like the foam pillows because you can shape it. That's the whole key is you sort of mold it. You can mold it, you know with more of a divot if you want, or else you can firm it out and really fluff it up thick in the middle if you want. 
But the whole idea is that however you fix it, it's going to sort of stay in that form or that position because of the locking nature of the inner fill here. I'm a little bit more impressed with the pillow now that I've actually taken a nap on it. But if you're somebody who has issues with back support or neck support when you're sleeping and you have neck pain or something, then this might actually work pretty good for you. So maybe that guy on the commercials knows what he's talking about. But anyways, that's the my pillow. Like I said, I put a link underneath where I got mine. So if you want to go check it out for yourself. All right, I'm gonna go back to sleep, man. Catch you guys later.